Hello. Welcome back. What did we do last time? Last time we were in the first class cabin and we kind of stumbled about looking for music notes or sheets and then we put them together and played a song and then we left the room and left a safe behind. Yes. So what we are we going to learned... do uh what are we going to do this time? Well, we're going to ask Snake to um feel all of the wooden things that he can from now on and tell us whether it's teak or mahogany or oak or you know, something else entirely, just because he has the skill to do that and that's a really interesting and neat thing that most people can't do, you know? I'm more of a birch fan myself. I'm more of a plywood fan. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Another hallway? Well, we're in a hallway either way. Hmm? Wow. No way. He paused for a moment, then turned around to look behind him. That should do it. Stevan was bent over, apparently doing something to the door. What's he up to? Junpei had spoke more or less to himself, but apparently Seven had heard anyway. The larger man stood up and turned to Junpei. I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Ah. You know, why would you want to come back here? <laughs> didn't he... Was it, wasn't he the one that did that in the other playthrough yeah he did that so we could get back into the shower room you know he keeps doing that and i i feel like you know on the one hand smart on the other hand playing a dangerous game there buddy i don't know how zero will feel about that i mean all... maybe it's just his detective instinct or something oh for sure no no question Snake was a reasonable one. Seven thought about it for a moment before he answered. I might like to play a little piano. <laughs> of course he will. <laughs> piano? Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. He just totally dodged the question. I sure did. Without waiting for an answer, Seven stared off down the hallway. Well then? Snake shrugged, sighed, and quietly followed Seven. Hmm. All right. That's a lie, Junpei thought to himself. I can't say I could ever imagine Seven playing the piano. He couldn't use the piano in there anyway. The keyboard's a mess. But why would he want to leave the door unlocked then? I have no clue. Who knows? Hey, wait for me! Junpei frowned, took one last look at the door, and then walked away toward his companions. After some time in the hallway, they emerged into a larger, more open area. Whoa, a, a metal grate? A large metal grate like the door of a jail divided it in half. Why is this thing... Oh, hey! Ah! Yeah. I remember this. You should. It was this was in that bad dream that I had. Yeah, where in we that all bad dream where we yeah. went into a kitchen and walked into a freezer and talked uh -oh. about the crystallization of glycerin. Oh, it was such an odd time. Uh man, there were there was a lot of weird dialogue in that specific part yeah, of the I dream. Yeah, I think June June was like, you know, saying stuff about, you know, his hard meat and all that, but Yeah, you I Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that that's dreams for you though. They're crazy. Especially when it's sex dreams, apparently. Hey, whoa, there's nothing sexual about chicken. Or is there? I mean I'll leave that up to you to decide. Ah. <laughs> They shook it for a while, but as they had expected, it did not move. Figures. Are those elevators over there? No way to know if they're working or not from here. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Unfortunately, however, it was locked and refused to open. So I'm assuming that would be the door. That's the kitchen exit is what I would think. That's what I was thinking too, actually. Sounds like it's locked. Yep. 
Junpei took a moment to examine the Stairs left side of the down. room. They're blocked by the grate, though. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Nah, uh, I think it's locked, too. Look. In the center of the door was a small keyhole. Next to the keyhole, a small symbol had been carved into the metal. What's this mark? The female symbol. It's a girl door, Junpei. A girl door. He wasn't quite sure what to make of it. Snake naturally was somewhat more sure. Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? Yes. They reference many of the solar bodies. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So oh, I blah. assume. Although they are the same symbol. Hmm. Yeah, well, yes. Hold on, where's Seven? Well, they had been discussing the symbols, Junpei now realized Seven had slipped away. How do you lose track of someone that big, man? How does Listen. he slip away? <laughs> ah, there he is. Just Down because he's hallway. big, you know, doesn't mean he has to make a lot of noise when he moves. Oh, uh, well... Sure, I guess. Seven had left them to head down the hallway, extending to the right of the stairs. This way, Snake. Follow me. Junpei grabbed Snake to lead him in the right direction, and they both headed off after Seven. You know, Junpei, I think Snake could figure that out on his own. You don't need to babysit him. <laughs> well, if anything, I think Snake needs to babysit Junpei, but... Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Before long, the three of them stood in front of a door. Hmm, I wonder if this door will... It was a French about door. That? It opens. Junpei tested the door and realized that, unlike so many others that they'd encountered, it was unlocked. Almost as though he was afraid it would suddenly lock itself, Junpei threw the door open. Alright, pop quiz, what's behind this door? You should know the answer. It's a kitchen. No, that was the other. Remember it's, it's when a... we were when we were talking to Lotus outside this door? What uh, uh, what location yeah. was it? it cas casino. Wow, you have a good memory. That was like two weeks ago. Mm, it was more than that. I think it was like three weeks ago. It might have been. He stepped inside. Oh, wow. This is a Time to roll room. some slots, boys. I don't like slot machines. I think they're kind of boring, to be honest. You're correct, yes. I would much rather play cards. Somewhere, somewhere XQC and Trainwrecks just had felt a sharp stab in their chest from you saying that. That's fine. I can live with that. Me too. It took only a moment for Junpei to take in his new surroundings. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Before Junpei could comment further, a noise from behind made him turn around. Snake was shaking the door they'd just come through. Well, this is troubling. Seven and Junpei watched, he threw up his hands in frustration, and then kicked the door for good measure. It seems we are once again locked in. There was no reason to panic, however. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. So we must find another exit, then. Alright guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. Spurred to action by Seven's words, Junpei and Snake began to examine the room. Oh man, it's time. We're gonna gamba. Seek a way out. Way out. All right. Welcome All to the right. casino. Welcome to the casino. Here we are. Looks like it's one L-shaped room that we get. There's a bar, there's some slots, there's some card tables. Yeah, there's it looks a like we get, table. what is that, four perspectives? No. 
Yeah, so there's the corner, there's the bar, there's the fireplace, and then there's the slots. So we get four perspectives. For some strange reason, what looks to be stained glass windows. Yeah, that is a little weird. weird. Check out that stained glass. Oh, beautiful. You can't see it. <laughs> what? Huh? huh? Oh. Stained glass is colored pieces of glass placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. Mm hmm. I can at least discern the basic structure. The stained glass is recessed into the wall. All I can see in there is lighting fixtures, though. Probably means the stained glass doesn't look outside. Though it's just decorative. It's really beautiful. What about the light? The chandeliers hang chandelier-like from the ceiling. Good, good observation. Uh, what a description. Chandelier-like. Yeah. There are four chairs surrounding the square table. That square table. It looks like a mahjong table. Do you play mahjong, Seven? Uh, maybe? I don't remember exactly, but... I do remember a couple hands and some of the rules, so I figure I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once we've vacated this vessel, I should like to play a game with you. Can you, uh... Play? So long as you tell me which tiles I am eliminating, yes, I believe I have enough at least, uh, I have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. <laughs> wow. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. Okay, uh, sure. It's probably for poker. There is nothing on it. Okay. There are some chairs. They seem perfectly normal and cherry. Yep. Oh, that just switches perspective. Uh, let's look at the corner, I guess. Oh, hey. There's something on the table. Yes, there is. I'm trying a, to select there's it. There's a number three uh, of three of spades. The three of spades. No, no flavor to it. That's just what it is. Suddenly, Seven began to speak. Ah, uh, Baccarat. Oh, we do get to play Baccarat. You ever played Junpei? <laughs> no. no. Junpei shook his head. He'd barely even heard of the game. No, uh, never. All right, then. How about I explain the rules to you a bit? Please do. See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's going to win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games, too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. So basically, you're just trying to get your total of your hand to end as close to nine as you could. I can't believe it. No way. There's a game like that, and you can do a mini game of that in this game. That doesn't seem right. That seems out of place. There's yeah, no right? way. Why, why would anyone put the number nine in this game? That's such an odd inclusion. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, this game is that's it. very. That's the yeah. explanation. Got it. Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. Yeah. A single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a nine. And the weakest hand is a zero. A monkey. You just ignore the number in the 10th spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Sure thing, buddy. He hadn't asked for it, but Seven's explanation, rushed though it had been, was helpful. Well, uh, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. 
Feeling more confident if only slightly, Junpei approached the Baccarat table. I don't think I can solve this yet. I can see the playing card behind the thick glass case. It's the Eight of Spades. Hey, Seven, are we really supposed to play Baccarat? It's a Baccarat table. What the hell else would we do? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, stop blackjack. worrying about it. It's real simple. What's the opponent's hand? Well, there's an eight in the glass case. All right, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case, what three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards? There are a couple of indentations with white lines around them, right? Those mean we gotta put down three cards. So, place three cards here and defeat the opponent's eight. That's what I've gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Uh, some tells me those aren't the only rules. Well, let's give it a shot. But we don't have enough cards, I'm just gonna say right now. Let's just exit out of that. <laughs> so we'll come back to that later. Okay. Yeah, let's co let's continue taking a look around. Right, let's a, just a go to the right, I guess. We'll look at this section. What about that? You know what? I'm sorry. I just sometimes I see items and I just want to like interact with them. That's a chair. It feels like a chair. Nothing more. Nothing less. Um, I'm I'm sorry, but th that vase, the vase, it stands out a little. I, yes, it stands out a lot. How unfortunate that it's nothing. That's. Mm, I feel, I feel tricked. I feel bamboozled. I feel I'm not personally attacked because it stands I... out so much. Yes, actually. Those are some strange-looking chandeliers. They look kind of like UFOs from that movie, Michelle's Farm Tools. What? What? Uh. <laughs> what? What kind of movie well... is that? It's a movie about farm tools that are owned by a person <laughs> yeah, what named the hell Michelle. kind of movie is that? <laughs> <sighs> and he's not going to tell us, of course. Well, he's got a, you know, he's got an uh, interesting niche taste in films, okay? He's a, he's a complex guy. More than meets the eye with him. I guess. There's nothing on the table anymore. Okay, so we don't need to look at that. Can I look at the vase from here? Nope. Well, will you look at that? Somebody left a bottle of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, just drink strange substances. Go on, glug, 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 Great idea. Ah, Definitely okay, not that it's the spot. Yep, that's a smart choice. Feels like my throat's burning. You don't uh, say. Wow, he actually drank it. Uh, we don't even know how long that's been there. Uh, I really hope he just doesn't die on the spot now. That would be, ooh, that'd be heckin' weird. One more sip. I don't think so. I'm cutting you off, pal. Oh. Dolly. He, Seven looks like he'd very much like to get acquainted with that bottle. There's something on the counter. Looks like a card. Playing card. A seven of spades. I'm okay. here for your seven of spades, old man, and I won't take no for an answer. I think they're all spades so far. Anything oh, else over here? Counters the three well of spades? Think, That's impossible. Nobody can have one. that card. Hey, and the there's the of four of spades. My grandfather's Boy. dick has no useless cards. All these spades here, what are they trying to what are they trying to what are they trying to say? Hmm. I don't think there's anything else back here. So. What? That hat makes you look like you've got candle ears. No, take that back. You're a chandelier. Uh Junpei, why do you talk to yourself so frequently? Listen, I can't help it. So I guess he canonically is just making puns to the chandeliers. 
that's this perspective done, I think. So we'll shift over to the right again. This chair goes to the poker table. Feels really soft. It's a chair. The seat is nice and soft. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh, he's doing it again. He's just doing it. Squeeze, oh, boy. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Are you quite finished with the chair, Junpei? Oh, no. We're going to throw hands, aren't we? Do you want to squeeze some more? If you don't stop this behavior at once, I will be forced to teach you a lesson you will not soon forget. His face is as calm as ever, but his voice... Terrifying. That is the face of a serial killer. I'm telling I don't you, want to get beat up, sus. so maybe I'll just leave the chair alone for now. Again. This door is shut tight. It won't open. But it's the door we just came through, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, Check the fireplace, I guess. There's firewood in the fireplace. Well, at least this one isn't lit, like the one in the first class cabin. Maybe that's why it feels a little chilly in here. It's really a nice looking fireplace. Okay. What on earth is this? Junpei, I can feel a frame here. What sort of painting is it? Clouds, maybe? Clouds? Well, maybe it's a rabbit? A rabbit? Well, if it's not that, it might be a close-up of some pee. <laughs> oh, I guess there's actually nothing there. Just a blank piece of canvas in a frame. Oh, I see. How strange. A large piece of canvas stretching across the frame, but there's nothing on it. Although I see a card on the thing, if I can get that. Didn't think I'd find a card here. There's card six. A uh, six of spades. What are these? There's a weird looking thing floating in there. And he says it the same thing about It looks about like a that. shadow box. What about the lights? Yes. Oh. oh, well there you go. Circle, circle, V, V. What the hell does that mean? Turn on the other one. Let's turn this off just in case. Oh no, I guess we can't. It's shedding quite a bit of light. Well, there you go. Wait, when those two lights turned on, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. It's another card, I'm sure. Something down there. Club Diamond Heart. Uh, what is that? Well, when I turned on the lights, they made these shadows on the canvas. And the shadows look like three symbols, right? Yep. Hmm... Clubs, diamonds, and hearts. I'm sure that means absolutely nothing. Ooh, yeah, I see something. Coin bag. We're rich. There are a whole bunch of coins stuffed into this velure bag. Look at all these coins. Perhaps these coins will allow us to convince the machines to move. It's full of coins, and I think I know just the place to use them. Uh, probably on the slot machines. Hey, can you touch that thing? Yeah, I'm a pretty good jumper, if I may say so myself. Here I go! Yeah. Chandeliers hang chandelier-like from the ceiling. So yes, he is confirmed canonically jumping up and touching all the lights, just like we thought he was doing. My man, he's like back in high school again. Huh, a light. Ugh. Wait, did Snake just tense up? Uh, hey, what's up? N no, never mind. No need to worry. Yeah. Something is going on whenever, like, lights are brought into the equation with him. It's kind of strange. It is a little odd. The lights glow yellow, filling the room with their light. Okay, but what is this? I'm what guessing we need this? to play... It says nine. Yeah, it looks like that cover's hiding something. If this is the cover, then maybe it opens up. Probably does. 
Okay. What about this? Hey, Junpei, you really think you got all the cards we need for this one? Ah, oh, hell, I guess there's no harm in trying it anyway. Oh, you know what? This is probably what the, we need the eight for, if I had to guess. I would say so. It seems the card is attached to the panel. And attached very well, it seems. If you don't mind, what sort of card is this? It's a playing card. The Ace of Spades, in fact. It's stuck, and we can't get it off. Okay, well, let's try the slot machines, I guess. There's one on the plate. I got the symbols for heart, spade, and diamond here. Well, this seems to be a slot machine. There is a slot for coins on the upper left side of the face. Perhaps we should put the coins we have recently acquired in there? Yeah. Let's put a coin from the bag in here. What happened? I heard an odd noise. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. I pressed some of the buttons and smacked the machine once or twice, but nothing happened. Oh, looks like the coin got stuck. Oh dear. Wah wah. Coins are stuck wah, in there, wah. but good. This machine won't be working anymore. Okay, what about the middle machine? With a two on the plate. A slot machine, I see. <laughs> Do you? Oh, jeez. There seems to be a coin slot on the upper left corner. Perhaps we should put the coins we have recently acquired in there. Yeah, sure thing, pal. Let's drop this coin in the coin slot. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. All right, uh, do you remember the order? It was clubs. Oh, I guess I gotta put it... Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Spin. Yeah, 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 it was... Clubs, diamond, heart. Hey. We did rigged, it! Rigged, rigged, it was rigged. Seven! And I think I hear something unlocking in there. Impressive, Junpei. It would appear to be unlocked now. There is something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for dividend. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it if you would. Okay. I see a card. What is it? Is something in there? Yeah, playing card. And this! A key with the Venus symbol on it. Excellent, Junpei. Now we will be able to open the gate. We just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Junpei, hurry up. And he's off. There was a playing card and a Venus key. Better put the key in my pocket for later. As for the card... Two of spades. I'm gonna assume we need that one since it was behind a puzzle. Yes. And I guess do I still even have the coin bag? I don't. Nope. So do I these don't need to use this not for uh, anything. I it think was just one of the three machines. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, all right then. So I assume now we just have to go play back or, or yeah, baccarat. 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 Kakarot. Kakarot, yes. Kakarot. Kakarot. Uh, Again, Kakarot. I will be the strongest Saiyan. All right, so we got to get eight, right? Or we got to beat eight? We got to get so nine. So we got to get a nine or I guess 19, but I don't think so we'll then be getting 19. I would, I would, I would, I would do... Probably just that, two, right? Two, three, then, uh, four? Yeah. Yeah. That Listen, do it. I've played enough killer Sudokus to know that two, three, four is nine. Mm. Noted. All right, if I just put Sudoku, down these play three when. cards. Yeah, no, I, I like Sudoku. What are you talking about? 
Yep, open for me. Great, you did it, Junpei. You think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Okay. All right, let's take this card. The eight of spades, we worked hard to get that. The three cards I put down are stuck to the table and they're not going anywhere, but thankfully we should not need them. And if my hunch is correct, all we have to do is slide this eight into here and that should unlock it, right? That would equal nine. Put I mean, that's what I, that's what I think you should do. But... Hey, oh. This game. Oh boy, <laughs> another, another, there we go. It seems we have another device to contend with, yes. There are three slots in this one. And I hope we can make nine with the remainder. Well, let's see. That probably yeah, we means we gotta make nine with the three cards we put in the slots, right? Just like what we did over at the Baccarat table. All right, let's give the this Kakarot a shot. The table. So, five uh, right. so plus five six plus, plus six seven, so that's six, 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 plus, uh, which is 18, 18 plus one plus which nine, is nine is eight yeah. plus nine. Yep, there we go. The math checks out, which is good, because otherwise we would be stuck here. <laughs> all right, so I put all the cards we had left into the slots. What happens now? That, yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. It seems the exit is unlocked. Let's go! It's a go! Okie dokie. You found it! You found it! Woohoo! Junpei and his companions ran out of the casino and into a large open room. A room, in fact, that they had been in once before. There was little to surprise them there. They already knew what their next step had to be. This way. The iron gate still stood in place, locked tight, blocking the stairway. And right in the center of it, the keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. Wasting no time, he pulled it out and shoved it into the keyhole. You know, I wonder how the other group is doing with Clover as opposed to us. Do you think they're locked in the freezer, unable to get out because well, they don't they have understand Ace that with they need them. A... What? They have Ace. They should be fine. He's smart, right? That's true. Yes. I mean... Listen, one clover plus one ace equals June pay, no matter how you slice it. I'll accept that. It yeah, kind of balances out, out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. Junpei grabbed the handle on the left and seven the handle on the right. On Junpei's signal, they both pushed and the gate creaked open. It sounds as though you have opened it. Correct. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. Oh, well, gosh, I really hope that's the case. But we'll have to find out next time. Next time. time. Yep. I will womp say, womp. there's a very real possibility we're going to have to go through a numbered door next episode. No, you don't say. Yep, so just... There's, there's no way. It could happen. In this game... I now the real question is: out. Do you do you remember the other two doors? Yes, uh, seven and eight. Yep, seven and eight. And if I believe, well, I'll let I'll leave it at that. Uh, we'll yeah. see which one he picks. I'll know. You won't know. Yeah. But yep. It's probably going to happen next time. Probably. Tune in and find out on. Uh. Nine hours, this. nine persons, nine doors. Nine doors. Yeah. Hooray. Hooray.